Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani back with another video and we are continuing the C-Sharp tutorial series. If you find this video helpful then please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed this channel then please subscribe the channel. Now let's get it started and let's see what operator is. Operator is a symbol that tells compiler to perform a mathematical or logical operation. So let's see what it means. First of all, let's create a new class and let's name it part four. Part four. And let's create a main method. So I'm gonna write here public static void main. That's the entry point for this application. And now change the startup project because we have multiple mains now otherwise it is gonna give us error fine so let's select this c sharp tutorial part 4 fine okay so let's talk about operators So as we talked that operator is a symbol that tells compiler to perform a mathematical or logical operation. So let's take this arithmetic operator and we have the five kind of operators in C sharp arithmetic, relational, logical, bitwise and assignment. First we will discuss this arithmetic operator plus minus multiplication divide percentage and this is increment incremental and this is decrement decremental operator okay so now we will use arithmetic operators so it is simple like that int a equals to 5 int b equals to 6 and int c equals to a plus b Okay, let's name it sum int minus equals to a minus b int multiplication equals to a into b int division equals to a divided by b and let's take it. Okay, so these are basic arithmetic operators and int percent equals to a percent b and it is called modulus operator basically it gives us remainder remainder and int x equals to a plus plus it is incremental value it increment it increments the value by one it increments the value by one int d equals to a minus minus so it decrements the value by one So that's it and let's see let's put a breakpoint here just click here and run this program okay just click here step over f10 so we can check the value sum sum equals to 21 that is fine and minus equals to a minus b which is 9 which is also fine multiplication is 90 division is 2 fine and c equals to a plus plus and it hasn't changed d equals to a minus minus it also hasn't changed 
let me tell you why this happens because it was a post increment and we have two kind of increment post and pre increment because it has incremented the value but it is not going to be reflected yet to see the reflection we have to use this int z equals to a now it will be reflected so right here console dot right line or right z let's see okay it's 16 now so that's what happened with post increment but if we write here plus plus a rather than doing a plus plus and here minus minus a and it is called pre increment so let's see what it gives us in a result console dot right line c so now our value is incremented by one and reflected at the same time with pre-increment operator so that was all about arithmetic operators now let's talk about these relational operators and these are useful in some certain conditions when you are writing some conditional statements and these are these are double equals to it means you are going to compare two values not equal to greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to so let's use one of it and let's write here int num uh, c num it means conditional num equals to a equals to b and it should be boolean type okay so we are checking here if a equals to equals to b then it means true okay let's define some other variable x equals to 5 and z equals to 6 let's see what it is giving us in result console dot log right line c num so it is definitely giving us false in result so it is called relational operator if we change it to 5 let's see what it is giving us in result yeah it is definitely giving us false so it is or relational operator now we have this logical operator it is called and it is called or it is called not so let's use and first right here bool and l means logical num l num logical num a equals to 5 and sorry let's take this x and z equals to 5 it means if both conditions are true then this bool should be true so let's type it console dot right line num sorry not num console dot right line l num fine let's see what it prints and it is obviously going to be true but if we change it to 6 then it is gonna print false because both conditions should be true for a true result or true return type so either one of this condition fails it is going to be false both conditions should be true then it will store as a 
true. Now if we change here to or it means either this condition is true or this condition is true. I am okay with it. So it is saying I will give you a true if either one of condition is succeeded. So right now it is also a true. That's it. And okay, let's see. Bool L num equals to x does not equals to six. What does it mean? If x does not equal to six, which is true statement here. So it should be print true. It should be printed as true. Okay, fine. And if we write here five, then obviously it will be false. So that's the logical and we are not going to touch this bitwise operator. Let's talk about this assignment and we are using it everywhere. Here we are using this equals to assignment operator to assigning the value to this variable. And let's see what else we can do right now. So let's int assigned num equals to x plus equals to x sorry it is not going to work if we write here x plus equals to 6 it means we have assigned 5 to the x here and it is going to add x into it so it will give us a result 5 plus 6 equals to 11 let's check it console dot log sorry not log right line and it will be x so let's see what is going to be print obviously it has printed 11 as we expected but if we write here into uh, this asterisk sign it means what it means it means x equals to x into 6 that's it it means 5 into 6 equals to 30 let's see and uh, it should be 30 yeah fine so that should be same with minus and division so that's it for now we will catch up in next video